Hi, I want to demonstrate one of the very useful and very unique feature of SpineTech JavaScript Debugger Pro. First, let's start it up. Well, we have to, we have to enter the URL and then press run to start it up. That's it. We don't have to open any files, anything. So it's paused on the first JavaScript line of the site. Now we can step. Uh, notice the code is reformatted. I described the reformatting in details in previous video. Here I'm just going to show you. This is how the original code looks like. This is how reformatted code looks like. It's much easier to read. I want you to notice the steps panel. Every step is recorded here. So we can go back every step you took and you can go forward and go backward now sometimes and most of the times when you're debugging big sites uh, some sites I debugged had one, more than one meg of source code meaning my source code which, which is huge uh, it could take a lot of time to just step through and like this, you know, and most of the code you're stepping through is, is not interesting at all. Like this is, for example, an assignment, and then then there's another assignment, so it's not interesting. That's why I, I wrote this feature. I specify the maximum number of steps uh, uh, it will take, and I click this button, and it will step until it's in a new function or the number of steps uh, has been taken. Let me demonstrate. Bloop. Did you see that? Look how many steps it took automatically. This is an assignment, another assignment, no, 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 no. you know, you will have to take all those steps manually and it took all of them automatically and it stopped paused on a new function if you check the call stack it, 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 this it, we were here well we were actually before that but the, the second the it, it got into a new function it paused itself this is very unique because you can now step through easier the code and you know and and i found that the the only important lines of call are usually the function calls. So uh, many times when you're stepping through, you're stepping through lines of call that you don't care about, but you don't know exactly where to set the breakpoint, how the call is structured. So you you really uh, with with other debuggers you really have to step through manually, but with Splintech JavaScript debugger. You just click and it steps through. I find this feature very unique, very useful, and everybody who tried it, many of my customers uh, were also uh, familiar with this feature, uh, and everybody that tried tried them really liked it. I really appreciate this new capability. Thank you very much.